Some upcoming video games who are together remastered and remake a great it could be look a lot better, a bit more realistic as usual. Hi guys and girls, this is Ninja Law of Tulane 2013 there and welcome to top 10 upcoming video games in remake and remaster 2022 and 2023. And this last we're going to take a look at some upcoming video games remake and remastered on 2022 and 2023 coming on the way. If you guys are guilty of to play these old games before you get a remastered or enhanced, then you're all familiar with. Let's get on with it. <sighs> Number 10, Saints Rules 4 and Saints Rules Get Out of Hell, re release for PS5 and Xbox Series XSS. Now, before we forgot to mention it, there's going to be spoilers upcoming on the way. If you guys are girls who not played it, pause this video and go and play it. If you want to play it, Enjoy the feeders. Number 10, Saint Rules 4 and Saint Rules Gathered Hell. Re released for PS5 and Xbox Series X S. Saint Rules 4 was take place in simulation after player uh, knocked down on Concha Basiniac after alien invasion. The game takes place in simulation and you get super power throughout the simulation for the rest of the other games. Before and after Earth got blew up by Cineac because they got nothing else can to do with that, it's up to player slash the boss who stop Cineac once at all. But and since rules get out of hell, you plus join a gas for rest of the games to rescue player slash the boss life from Satan. Now this since rules four and get out of hell. It's going to be a very interesting and hence version for PS5 and Xbox Series X as S. If the people who already own PS4 version or Xbox One back then, then you can get save data transfer to next gen version of Saints Rose 4 and Gathered of Hell. <sighs> and the quality is gonna be you know, 8K Ultra HD and the graphics style will be exact same as Saints Rules the third remastered from 2020 to 2021 last year and two for PS4, Xbox One and PS5 and Xbox Series X S. But Saints Rules 4 and Saints Rules Get Out of Hell is going to be quite gorgeous realistic graphic to see on virtual steel ports and Saints Rules 4 and New Hades and Saints Rules Get Out of Hell. If you missed it, then you're going to enjoy it Saints Rules 4 and Get Out of Hell on PS5 and Xbox Series X S. If you already had that on PS5 compatibility, you can continue on next gen version where you left off. Depends on that. Number 9 Max Payne, Max Payne 2, and Max Payne 3. There's these Max Playing games classic if people who would have played it on PS2 and PC back in the old time and original Xbox. Yeah, never forgot about original Xbox. If people who would have played it then you're all familiar with upcoming Max Payne games since early 2000s and 2010s. Max Payne, Max Payne 2 and Max Payne 3 getting a really gorgeous looking remake and the third game is getting re-release on re for PC, Steam, PS5, Xbox Series X S along with Max Payne 1 and 2. If people not play Max Payne 1, 2 or 3 yet, I think you're going to love this remastered of Max Payne 1, 2 and 3. Some people who prefer playing on PS version to get Weapons aiming against enemies, and yes, we can tell how really hard Max Payne 1 and 3 really is, but since upcoming and remake, the difficulty is going to get torn down to make video games start easy to, to hard, depend on that. 
I think Max Payne 1, 2 and 3 get a really, really gorgeous looking 8K RGHD graphics for PS5, Xbox Series X, S and PS16 if you had a stronger computer. Number 7, Dead Space Remastered. This upcoming of first Dead Space remake since late 2000s. Dead Space Remastered getting a remake in early 2023 since Dead Space 3 back in 2013, nine years ago. Dead Space Remastered getting a remake of Ultra HD and fan favorite or the main protagonist of Engineer Isaac Clark or just Clark. Well, it's not with a silent protagonist until he finally talk in second and third games. It's up to Isaac Clark to survive from spaceship uh, throughout evil looking spaceship. And this is going to be really, really more nightmare fuel than the original version. And we wonder if Dead Space 2 and 3 get remastered as well in the future after the first one. But on top of that, this is a PS5, Xbox Series X, that's it only games, unfortunately. If you manage, got your hand on it. So good luck with that. Number 8, Saints Row and Saints Row 2 re-release for PS Steam, PS5 and Xbox Series X S. Saints Row and Saints Row 2 will get a remastered for PS5, Xbox Series X S and PC. Back, back in since Saints Row, which first came out back in the second half of 2000s and late 2000s, like Saints Row 1 and 2, yeah. They're getting the remake for PS5 and Xbox Series X S. You're also on the news of the league that Saints Row 1 and 2 getting PS5 and Xbox Series X S remastered. The graphic itself is going to be exact same as Saints Row 5, known as Saints Row 2022 Reboot. If Gary goes to mess Saints Row 1 and 2 for Xbox 360 and PS3, we hope you're going to, to enjoy playing Saints Row 1 and 2 for PS5 and Xbox Series X X S if people who mess beginning of Saints Row like that way. I know they're meant to be against our games, but in third and fourth game, it's just solemn else like that way. In Saints Row 5, known as 2022 reboots, they went back to its original route since the first two games was out. Yeah. And the graphic itself is going to be the same as Saints Row 5 or Saints Row 2022 reboots. We hope you're going to enjoy playing in, in Saints Row 1 and 2 remake in Steel Water with gorgeous looking graphic in 8K or HD like that way. The face and lip sync movement was not very age well but the Saints Row 1 and 2 still fantastic as usual. Number 7 Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Remastered Now, we had Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 and 2 Remastered back in 2016 and 2020. If people who were to play Call of Duty in Modern Warfare 1 and 2 Remastered for PS4 and Xbox One, then you then I then you go and join playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Remastered for PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S, unfortunately. If people who play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 and 2 for PS4 and Xbox One on PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S compatibility, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 getting P 
PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S only. And it's going to come out at the same time as Modern Warfare 2 2022. Just like what Activision did on Infinite Warfare, which came out at the same time as Modern Warfare 1 Remastered. And the graphic is going to be 8K Ultra HD as well, if guys and girls pay attention to that. So, yeah. Number 6, Fortress Craft Chapter 1, re-released for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Slash S, and Nintendo Switch. We, I know we don't have Fortress Craft Chapter 1 being re-released on Next Gen Home. We know Fortress Craft Chapter 1 was not being re-released on Next Gen Home console like PS4 and Xbox One yet, but Fortress Craft Chapter but Fortress Craft Chapter 1 will be getting re-released for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Slash S, and Nintendo Switch Remake Remastered. If people who already played this game back in 2011 for Xbox 360 or 2021 for the PS Steam, but Fortress Craft Chapter 1 get a re-release on PS4, PS5. Xbox One and Xbox Series X slash S. If you get PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S, if you manage to get them, then the graphic and quality could be a lot gorgeous in 8K or HD. And you can see robot wandering around an open world map like that way. But I think for just Crab Chapter 1 deserve a re release on next gen home console as well. You know. But well, we hope for the best. Number 5. Total Mana Forge. We released for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Last S, and Tinder Switch. Now we know Studio Forge, known as Craig, who haven't really dropped us on to get Total Mana Forge re released on PS4, Xbox One, and Tinder Switch back in 2018. Now, I'm the only other person who tried to help him out as I could. I know I, f- I know I feel like a failure, I really was, like I, I am a failure. But I did my best to help them out to get things right. But total amount of force, it's going to be really, really gorgeous graphic on 4K Ultra HD on PS4 and Xbox One, or 8K Ultra HD on PS5 and Xbox Series X as S. If you manage to get these two home consoles as you could. I know they're not the hard home consoles to get. No, I mean, so I mean, PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S is a very hard home console to get and it's not easy because of the pandemic. I bet that I managed got PS5 at home now because that's why I was so glad about that. But let's get back to what I was saying. Total Man of Force. We're going to get PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X slash S and Nintendo Switch re-release on somewhere there starts in 2022. Many, many fans been waiting for a very long time to get next-gen home console to be re-released. And Total Manage 4 could be really, really quite gorgeous in 4K Ultra HD in PS4 Pro and Xbox One X. And Xbox Series X slash S and PS5, it will be even a bit more gorgeous in 8K Ultra HD. If guys like who want to play that games, just like I said that in Fortress Craft, just like I said that in Fortress Craft Chapter One back then, Total Manage Forge and people who want to play it back in 2011 for Xbox 360 and 2017 for the PC. Total Mana Forge will be getting a remastered on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Slash S, and Nintendo Switch, where it has not been re released yet. Maybe it will be later this year or maybe sooner, but we don't know yet. But wait till we wait and see first. Number 4 Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake. 
for PS Steam, PS5, and Xbox Series X slash S. Now let's talk about that. <sighs> Star Wars remake. Back in 2003, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic was first came out back in 2003. But upcoming of Star Wars was Knights of the Old Republic will be getting PC Steam, PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S. If people have not played this original version yet, then you have to play it for yourself. And it's quite one of the best Star Wars games so far. Since 2003. Oh yeah, and Tinder Switch as well. Yeah. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic will be getting re-released for Xbox Series X slash S and PlayStation 5 somewhere in 2023. And this is going to be really, really gorgeous remastered of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic in 8K Ultra HD on PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S. If people who missed this original, I think you're going to be a lot remake of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic for PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S and PC. But I think you still need to play original version while you're waiting for... Remake to be re released, okay. Number three The Beginner's Guide Ultra Deluxe for PS Steam, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Dash S, and Nintendo Switch. If guys and girls who play The Beginner's Guide back in 2015 in full of PC Steam. And then, just like what company did to the Stanley Powerball Ultra Deluxe back in late April 2022, then you're going to love the Beginner's Guide Ultra Deluxe for PS Steam, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Slash S, and Nintendo Switch. If people who were to play the Beginner's Guide back in 2015, then yeah, I think you're going to enjoy the upcoming new version of the Beginner's Guide Ultra Deluxe for PC Steam, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Slash S, and Nintendo Switch somewhere in 2023 quite soon. If people who played this game before back in 2015, I think you're going to, I think you're going to enjoy playing the Beginner's Guide Ultra Deluxe for, for PC, Steam, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Slash S, and Nintendo Switch on 2023. If people who would have played The Beginner's Guide, and uh, yes, but The Beginner's Guide take place on the mysterious protagonist and the waiter of the company who made the sign of Powerball to let you explore around unpublished game by Coda for the rest of the game. It's not a very long game like that way. It's just a very short game. But I hope you're going to be enjoying Ultra Deluxe version of the Beginner's Guide for PS Steam, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Slash S, and Nintendo Switch on 2023 somewhere. Number 2, Ready Evil 4 Remake for PS Steam, PS5 and Xbox Series X S. Yes, Ready Evil 4 Remake was finally confirmed and announced by Capcom. If people who play Ready Evil 4 original back in 2005, I think you're going to love this remake on 2023 for PS Steam, PS5 and Xbox Series X S. And people who who managed to get PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S before this one was been announced 
then I hope you're going to be love this games. Ready Evil 4 remake take place in a misty forest to find present in Dalton and Ashley, the most annoying Ready Evil characters at all time. We all hate Ashley as usual since 2005 and Ready Evil 4 original, but we hope Ashley will be a less annoying in the remake of Ready Evil 4 in 2023. The graphic is going to be really, really gorgeous and it could be really, really a bit more realistic than ever before so far like that way. It's still using RE Engine as usual by Capcom. Still. But I hope you're going to be enjoying and I hope you're going to want to love Resident Evil 4 Remake on 2023 for PS, Steam, PS5, Xbox Series X, S. The most important of all, you still need to play original Red Evil 4 for PS4 and Xbox One on PS5 and Xbox Series X S backwards compatible while you wait for Remake to be released on 2023. So good luck with that. Before we go to number one pick, let's take a look at Honorable Mentions. Portal and Portal 2 Re release for Nintendo Switch. Now I know they're not I know they're not getting re release on PS4, PS5, Xbox One and Xbox Series X S yet. But Portal and Portal 2 get an Nintendo Switch re release later this year. I we I hope you could enjoy this new version since 2011. Well, since 2011. Terraria, we released for PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S. I know there is a forward chart getting re released for PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S as well. But Terraria get a PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S re released later this year. And the graphics is going to be a bit more gorgeous. Or could ever been imagined. Minecraft. We released for PS5 and Xbox Series X. Minecraft. We released for PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S. Minecraft was already being re released for PS4 and Xbox One back in 2014, but Minecraft will be getting. PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S re release release later next year in 2023. Well, maybe. But it's going to be quite interesting. Version in 8K Ultra HD as usual. Red Dead Redemption 2 re release for PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S. The Wild West games need a really, really gorgeous graphic and 8K Ultra HD for PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S re-release on next year. On 2023. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt re-release for PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt getting a remastered later this year with Gorgeous graphic and 8K Ultra HD. And you could be loved that fantasy open world games as much as you as we do. Half Life 2, Half Life 2 Episode 1 and Half Life 2 Episode 2 re released for PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S. I know Half Life Alex was being came out. Back in 2020, but half of two us were these two episodes getting those two remastered by Valve for PS5 and Xbox Series X S. And then there could be a very good version of Half Life 2 remastered for PS5 and Xbox Series X S and Source 2 Engine. Number one, The Last of Us Part One remake. 
re release for PS Steam and PS5. If Guys and Girls who were to play The Last of Us Part 1 back in 2013 for PS3, the original version of this game, and re release version, PS4 version, The Last of Us was remastered back in 2014. The guys that gets already got this game on PlayStation Plus back in October 2019. Then the Last of Us Part 1 remake will become free if you already owned the Last of Us remastered along with Left Behind DLC. Yeah, because make sure you had to pay Left Behind DLC as well for PS4 remastered before you get this game for PS5 free upgrades if you already had The Last of Us remastered since 2014. If you already had that back in October 2019 for PS Plus free, then you can get The Last of Us Part 1 remake for free on PS5 if you already owned the Last of Us 1 remastered for PS4 and don't forget DLC otherwise the price will go a bit cheaper if you don't have DLC yet make sure you have DLC for The Last of Us remastered before you get this newest version for free just like like other games did on PS5 for you upgrade if they already their own PS4 version after be being purchased or get it for free on PS Plus. Now, if people who love original The Last of Us 1 for PS3, PS3 or the remastered for PS4, I think you're going to love brand new version of The Last of Us Part 1 remake for PS3 and PS5 with gorgeous looking 8K HD to make it a bit more realistic than the master version as usual. If people who missed the last of us original for PS3 or the remastered for PS4, I think you're going to love the newest version of the last of us part 1 remake for PS3 and PS5 later this year. With 8K Ultra HD gorgeous graphic. And it's still gonna be masterpiece as usual as you think of IGN Refuse back in 2010. It's still gonna be rem it's still gonna be a masterpiece if games as usual for The Last of Us Part 1 remake for PS5 and, and PC. <sighs> If people who would have owned The Last of Us Remastered for PS4, then you get it, The Last of Us Part 1 Remake for free upgrade on PS5. But don't forget Left Behind DLC. If you don't have it, the price will gone a bit cheap if you don't have Left Behind DLC yet. So keep that in mind, you know. The Last of Us Part 1 remake for PS5 still going to be a masterpiece as usual since 2013 and 2014. I hope you're going to love this new version of The Last of Us Part 1 remake for PS5 and PS Steam. In top of that, of The Last of Us Part 1 remake for PC Steam and PS5 is going to be compatible with Adaptive Tracker and Pulse three D headset for PS five, so you can hear enemies looking around like human, zombie, and of course clicker. Keep that in mind. What you guys think to think about upcoming video games remake and remastered in two thousand twenty two and two thousand twenty three? Leave comments below, and please subscribe and follow me in my channels. Link in the description below. Follow me in my TikTok, my Twitch, my Discord, and my Patreon channels. And peace, Octolan, in July 2017. I hope you enjoy it. Peace, Octolan, in July 2017.